Welcome back to Tran Wins Uncharted Ocean. Today we have patch 1.0.9 and enemy ships now spawn closer to your fleet, which I think is a poor way to subtly disguise the fact that you're not adding to the AI of the game. All enemy ships are now closer. It's not that I'm complaining like, oh, they're too close. No, I'm just saying like from a game design perspective, I believe they did this so that they wouldn't ha they could stall on writing code for strategizing that battle. And I already made myself a guide based off of the walkthrough, showing which cities I wanted to definitely hit. I labeled things as North Pacific and South Pacific. Wow, this is way more profitable than it used to be. I noticed that Prince Theseus was dropping double the loot, though he was a little harder to find. I don't know if that is just my luck or what, but items don't normally drop like that in expiration. There's no cheats, it's just probably something that they did because people were complaining about the expiration, which I would understand. At least that's what I would assume. Oh, I forgot to buy stuff at the other city after investing in it. Oh well. I'm gonna recruit every person in the game, now that I have the money. Aiden's quite nice. Glad I didn't miss out on it again. Otherwise, I would regret it forever. I bought the local specialties. This is the legendary frankincense? It doesn't look like anything special. Don't be so picky. This is the real deal. Now, can we get the crystal and do you? Eh, I'm a man of my word. Let's go. Do you crystal me? I'm gonna bury the crystal to open the mechanism. Do you resin? Search right there. Bar, Prada, tracking this way. Questing Grandmaster. I like this, that they've uh, made it a lot more profitable. That That is a very nice change, but they should really just get rid of it entirely. And I'm saying this as someone who has thousands of iron plate. I'm not actually sure how much I have. Just look and see if there's any technologies I should get. Becoming mayor allows you to have tax free purchases and sales. Vengeance Assault Dow is my favorite ship. If you have 150 Vengeance Assault Dow and the blueprint scraps, you can trade in for one complete blueprint. Okay.
even though it's foggy, you can actually still click on a city and it'll still take you there. You. What are you? What the? No, I not even worth my time. Did you bring the spades? Sure. It is ready now. Good, let's get ready to dig. After digging up a large hole in the residential area, you find an empty chest. Looks like someone got to it first. I never leave any clues to the statue. He probably doesn't know it's the key to open the hidden compartment. What should we do? This is your racking your mind for a solution. A middle-aged man walks by. What's all that noise? Who dug up who dug this place up again? Sir, you think someone has come digging here before? Yeah, he said the ground looks strange, like someone had dug it dug dug through it. Do you know where he is now? It was a geologist from Goa called Zhang Ming Ming Zhang Meng Di. Yeah, Zhang Meng De. Zhang Meng Da. You can ask about him. He's supposed to be quite famous. Thank you. We'll go at once. Hey, clean up this mess first. To the crystal first, go to the Goa residence. I know this is present, but I want to check if there's any secret side missions. They're generally in those areas. What? He has moved? Yep, he moves around quite often for his job. Do you know where he went? Calica, it's not far from here. I'm going now. I hope he hasn't moved again. Probably not. He hasn't been there for long. But don't you want to take a look around the, at the market? The Goa market is hosting an event. Taking half a day won't interfere with your search. I suppose not. What kind, what, what kind of event? There's some new stalls offering food, games, accessories. Goa may be a small city, but the market gets pretty lively when there's an event going on. Just about everyone is there. Okay, thanks. I'll check it out. Have fun! You enter the market full of adjacent stalls where the sounds of laughter and chanting of merchants never cease. Did you bring enough money? Did you bring enough money? At least 300,000 gold. There's a lot I want to buy. Are you crazy? Spending 300,000 gold on this market? I have enough gold. I just want to see how you're going to spend it all. Ah, what if I see something good and want to buy one for each crew member? It sure is packed here. So many people. And look at all the stalls. It feels like a holiday. I just bought some grilled food. I have no idea what, but it tastes great. Stop eating. Look at that stall there. They have riddles. Want to give it a try? You go ahead. I'm still hungry. At this moment, you see an Asian woman accompanied by two guards who approach the stall ahead. Hi. Can I play? I really like that ornament. You've got a good eye, my lady. It is quite valuable. You'll need to answer correctly three times in a row. It costs 100 gold to play. Okay, no problem. Here you go. Let's begin. Question 1. Golden hooks on silver rings, sisters separated by a mountain. If they wish to meet, they must wait until night. Guess an item that is a personal belonging. Isn't that a bit difficult? No problem, take your time. Oh, right, I forgot one rule. If you can't think of the answer, you can spend 80,000 gold to skip the question. 80,000 gold? That's robbery! You must be joking! 
Calm down, you two. It's just a rule. I know it's unrealistic. The point is to make the player focus on answering the question, instead of thinking of a way around it. Of course, if we do meet a rich guy who throws away 80,000 gold like spare change, then we get rich and he will be happy. It's win-win. Like justification for microtransactions here. I guess that makes sense. Don't be so rude, you two. But this riddle is too hard for me. I'm afraid I have to give up. We choose to... What? I don't want to attack the guy. Now or never. I can do it! Uh, and you are? I'm a fan of riddles too. I'll answer for the lady. And if I can answer three in a row, the prize is hers. Deal? Of course. But if you fail, you can't play again. Uh, sir, you... Don't worry, I'll help you. Can you repeat the riddle again? Golden hooks and silver rings. Sisters separated by a mountain. If they wish to meet, they must wait until night. Guess an item that is a personal belonging. Answer is earrings. Earrings! Impressive. Correct. Haha, <laughs> it was nothing. Let's go, give me the second one. Question 2. A, B, C plus B, C, D equals A, D, A, C. A, B, C, and D each represent a number. What number does B represent? I feel like it'd be easiest just to bomb the question and, and until I get the question right. Um, so let's just go with 8. 8! Even that didn't stump you. I'm impressed. <laughs> it was easy. Keep them coming. The last question. I didn't really feel like thinking about that question. Okay, the last question. Of the three following artillery types, which deals the most damage to enemy sailors in a single shot? Apparently the answer is 3-3-3 three, three, three every time. It's Mortar. Mortar, this is my specialty. You can't stump me. Looks like you passed the third round. Congrats. I'm a man of my word. The ornament is yours. For you, my lady, my mission is complete. Sir, you did all that just for an ornament? It's fine. I enjoy quizzes like this. What's your name, sir? I'm Tran, an ocean adventurer. And you, my lady? I'm Yao Ying Zhu from Great Ming. Great Ming? Is it far from here? It's a little far. I don't often get the chance to come to places like this, but I have to return home soon. It sounds like a place I would like to visit. Attending an event like this alone would be a buzzkill. And I have the honor of your company, Lady Zhu. Yeah, that would be great. The afternoon quickly passed and shared fun, and as the sun set, the market became less and less crowded. It's time to say goodbye. If you're ever in Quanzhou Port, go visit me. I'll let find you in such a large city. I'll let my people know in advance. Just say our names and you'll find me. I guarantee it. Take care, sir. I will cherish the time we spent together this afternoon. Thank you, Tran. May we meet again. With these words, Xiao Ying Zhu and her followers slowly left. Hmm. It looks like those two are her bodyguards. She was so confident I can find her. She must be someone important. Hey, what are you looking at? I haven't seen you all afternoon. Did you have fun? Look at all this food I got you. All you do is eat. You miss something good. Huh? What I miss? I'm not telling you. Let's go. It's time we head to Calicut. Let's update to Calicut Main. Inventory planning, I want that, so we'll go and hire her. We'll dunk her on a ship for now and we'll worry about organizing it later. Get your levels in. Are you Mr. Xiangming De? Yeah. If you're looking for a geologist, then that's me. If not, then you've got the wrong guy. Yes, you're the one. Look, there it is. You point to his table, where a crystal has caught your attention the second you walked in. To be honest, we're the ones who buried that crystal there. Then you have to give me some proof. I can't just take your word for it. If you can tell me how it was buried, then I'll believe it's yours. If you can't, then it's not. Tell them, Vasco da Gama. You're the one who buried it. This guy sure is annoying. You call Vasco da Gama who over, who chats with them for a full half hour. Hey, get over here! I've proved my point. If you don't get over here, I'm gonna kill this guy. I can't take any more of this crap. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. I'll allow you to take it, but you need to find a suitable replacement. Yes, I'll look for something. You won't go anywhere yet, will you? I won't for a while, but the unexpected is always possible. If nothing unexpected happens, I won't leave. But if it does... Stop! I get it. I'll find something and come back ASAP. I'll turn to his name. 
If you want to get the crystal, you have to find an alternative to replace it with. If you suddenly remember the turquoise beads or tricolor gem, it should be a great alternative. You can exchange it for the crystal. Talk to Shamande and the Calicut re residents when you're ready. If you have neither in your bag, search for the friends that will be made along the way in quest list. Salvage coordinates are in the quest description. Yeah, we already did that one. And I, we played it honestly, so. Is your replacement turquoise beads or tricolor gem? Turquoise beads, because we played it honestly. Jamanda, will these turquoise beads work? It's such a pure blue color. It's beautiful, of course I'll trade. Thank you. I wish your investigation fruitful. Perhaps fate will bring us together again. Whether or not we meet again depends on will, not fate. If we are willing to meet, then we surely will. But it is not fate. If we are unwilling to meet, then we surely won't. But it is not fate. We... I think we can meet again later, but we don't have to. <laughs> In the statue institution. Wait, let me go back. Turn to the Melindy residence. I'm not really worried about that. I have way too many supplies. So now that they're very close, the ships on the right fire first. Well, not first. They they, they kind of congregate around. They kind of congregate around one thing. So I I put my heavy boat on the right and. Long story short, I put the heavy boat on the right. This crystal thing better be worth it. I doubt it will be. We finally have the key to the statue, Vasco da Gama. Don't you think you should tell me what's buried there? I can tell you that it's an artillery cannon, and one that I, that I spent most of my savings on top researchers and craftsmen to make. Artillery is wonderful! You say as you put your, the crystal in. You turn it, and a secret door beneath the statue opens. Behind it, you see another contraption with some writing on it. You give Vasco da Gama an odd look. What's this, another puzzle? A numbers game? Hey, don't look at me. This was all my navigator and craftsmen. I wasn't involved. All I can recall is a 3x3 numbers grid. Fine, let me see. There are 10 numbers, 0 to 9, each with an indented slot. It says, find the four numbers of the puzzle and put a stone in the rele relevant slots to open the treasure beneath. The puzzle is 1, 2, 3... Uh, whatever, I, I don't even care. I'm just gonna hit all the buttons. Nothing looks like I was wrong. Nothing looks like I was wrong. Apparently it's the third answer again. 7142. Piece of cake. Just put them in a 3x3 grid and see the lines connecting them. After filling the corresponding slots, a hidden door in the ground beneath the statue open. A shiny artillery cannon lies within it. It's a 22 set Vulcan! Not bad, Vasco da Gama. I didn't expect you to make one of these. Let's take it back. We're in the same shoes now anyway. <laughs> Let's take it. Let's bring it back and continue our journey. Seed Bay. Continue your adventure Calicut. Alright. You have to go back to Calicut. Okay.
So while we sail, let's see how many items I actually have for materials. I have 6,000 iron plate. I'm, I'm good. I don't even know if that place had iron plate, but that's pretty much what I feel you have to search for in this game. Since I've got her level 20, I'm not worried about the pirates now. I just need to get her, get her to a church, and then I'll kill some more pirates. I'm in Calicut. Okay, let's see if it's the black market. No. Um, here, uh, I guess we've reached the end. Okay, well, that's it for the storyline. Um, I guess I'll sail around and get stronger, explore all these cities. If something comes up that's interesting, I will tune back in. heading to Shire Toko now. I think that's where I'm supposed to be able to research stuff. A desolate port known to the residents of nearby cities is Shire Toko. If you want to own it, you'll need at least 10,000, 10 million to facilitate relations with nearby powers. Want to build your base here? Yes. Of course! Congratulations on, being, be, on becoming the lawful owner. Go on it. Go and prepare what you need. Port Independence Side Mission. It belongs to you now. Start building your city. <laughs> yeah, that was a very short quest. You just gotta spend money, huh? That's easy. Alright, so I guess we'll be back later when I've built everything or something new has happened to Sharatoga. I won't tune in for every little building I make, like a port shop or something. Okay, nothing in Calicut. I also checked out Calcutta. I'll try sailing around this- <sighs> This didn't happen before! I've sailed out of this place several times. I finally found you! How dare you to come back! And you are... <laughs> Captain of Sofala Naval Team 1. And you, Tran, are Magellan's lackey and Portugal's most wanted criminal. Trying to sneak by before word gets around after your good work at Cape of Good Hope? Please continue, I like what I've heard. Piss off! We lost a lot when you leaked intel to Mozambique. You'll pay with your life. Uh, I'm not the one paying here, apparently. Ha! 
Custer, our cover has been blown. Yep, things are looking grim. We should head straight to Ceylon. Ceylon? Yeah, I asked them about that in Calicut. Ceylon is safe for now, and they share the same enemies as ours. I'm glad you're with me. Full speed ahead to Ceylon. I have mapped the entire world. Or available world. They mentioned something about the South and North Poles, so I have... what is it? 97% explored. There's 3% left, which are unreleased maps, I assume. Or maybe dungeons, I don't know. I've also invested in every port up to so that they have 100% of their goods 